Pantheon AI presents Smovie LA Breakdown. Welcome back to the Smovie LA Breakdown, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into something pretty exciting in the world of robotics and AI, a new research paper introducing what's called SmoVLA. SmoVLA? That's a great name. So what exactly is it, and why should our listeners care? Well, it's a compact, efficient, and really interesting vision language action, or VLA, model. The whole idea behind it is making advanced robotics more affordable and accessible. Think about significantly cutting down on training and inference costs, but without sacrificing performance compared to those much, much larger VLA models out there. That sounds like a big deal, because, if I'm understanding correctly, a lot of the existing VLA models are, well... They're just massive, right? Billions of parameters. Super expensive to train and deploy in the real world. Exactly. That's one of the core problems Small VLA is trying to solve. These huge models are a barrier. And it's not just the size. It's also about the data they use. Most of them rely on academic or industrial data sets, which kind of ignores the growing amount of community-collected data from more affordable robotic platforms. Oh, that's a good point. So they're missing out on a whole rich source of information. And I imagine that also contributes to the issues with robotic policies generalizing, right? Like not performing well across different objects, environments, or tasks because the training data just isn't diverse enough. You nailed it. That's precisely the challenge. But this is where small VLA really shines with its core contributions. First off, its architecture is designed to be super lightweight and efficient. Lightweight how? Like, can I run this on my gaming PC? Potentially. Yeah, it's optimized for training on a single consumer-grade GPU. And for deployment, you could even use a CPU. They achieved this through some clever design choices, like skipping layers in the vision language model part, using a minimal number of visual tokens, and just generally leveraging smaller pre-trained VLMs. Wow, that's really impressive. And you mentioned the community data earlier. Is that part of their solution too? Absolutely. This is huge. Small VLA is pre-trained end-to-end on fewer than 30,000 episodes from publicly available, community-contributed data sets. Think about that. Strong performance with significantly less data than previous methods. It really democratizes the training process. That's incredible. Less data, more accessible hardware. What about how it actually, you know, acts in the real world? Is it fast and responsive? That brings us to their third big contribution asynchronous inference. They've optimized the stack to decouple action execution from observation processing and action prediction. This means you get much higher control rates with chunked action generation, which significantly improves responsiveness and reduces latency. It's all about making the robot react quicker and smoother. So to recap the contributions, small, efficient architecture, leveraging community data, and super fast, responsive actions. That's a pretty compelling package. I'm curious, though, how do they actually build this thing? What's under the hood? Great question. Small VLA essentially has two main components. First, there's the pre-trained vision language model, or VLM, which is responsible for perception. It's a compact VLM, specifically SMOL VLM2, that takes in sensory motor states, things like images from multiple RGB cameras and natural language instructions for the task. Okay, so it's the eyes and ears that also understand what you want it to do. How do they make that part so efficient? Good follow-up. They have a couple of key efficiency measures here. One is layer skipping. They literally skip computations in the VLM to achieve faster inference. The action expert only accesses features up to a specified layer, effectively having the computational cost. And then there's visual token reduction. While some VLMs tile images for high resolution, Small VLA just uses the global image with a pixel shuffle operation, limiting visual tokens to just 64 per frame. Again, that means faster inference. That's really clever. So it's not trying to process every single pixel, but just enough to get the job done quickly. What about the other main component? The one that actually does the actions? That's the action expert. This component is a transformer architecture, and its job is to predict a chunk of low-level actions from the features provided by the VLM. It's where the robot's movements and manipulations are generated. And I remember you mentioned something about interleaving attention layers and a flow-matching training objective. Can you elaborate on those? Absolutely. Unlike some prior VLA architectures that stick to just self-attention or cross-attention, 
Small VLA's action expert actually interleaves both. Cross-attention layers handle the VLM's keys and values, while self-attention layers allow the action tokens to attend to each other. This combo really improves success rates and inference time, and that self-attention part also contributes to smoother action chunks. So it's getting the best of both worlds, making actions more precise and fluid. What about the flow matching part? That's their training objective. They use a flow matching objective, which has been shown to outperform standard regression methods like L1 loss. This is crucial for modeling those really complex, multimodal action distributions that robots need to handle. And, just to add, they also use a, quote, causal attention mask for the self-attention layers, making sure each action token only looks at past tokens within its chunk. This prevents future action dependencies and boosts performance. Wow, so they really thought through every detail to make it not just efficient, but also highly effective and robust. It sounds like a significant step forward for making robotics more practical for everyone. It really does. And to bring it back to that community-driven aspect, they pre-trained small VLA on a subset of 481 community datasets from Hugging Face. That's a total of 22.9 thousand episodes and 10.6 million frames. That's a testament to the power of open collaboration in AI. That's incredible. So small VLA isn't just a technical breakthrough. It's also a model for how future AI development can be more inclusive and accessible, less about massive, closed-off projects, and more about leveraging collective effort. It's exciting to think about the possibilities for affordable robotics with this approach. Couldn't agree more. It's definitely a project to keep an eye on. Thanks for breaking down small VLA with me today. Host B. My pleasure, Host A. Always great to explore these innovations. Pantheon AI, your information co-pilot. Because learning shouldn't feel like a full-time job. Take care and see you next time.